Uh, Brother Mohsen says, can video or photo evidences be presented to prove the spouse is doing adultery? Would it be valid? Adultery or fornication is an illegitimate relationship between a man and a woman. And for that, four male Muslim witnesses are required to testify seeing graphically the private parts in each other in order to establish the crime of adultery or fornication. The second means of such proof is a confession. If the adulterer or the fornicator confesses four times against himself that he committed this heinous crime, this sin, heinous sin. Other than that, it is not valid. So even if we have CCTV footage, video footage, a camera, photographs, showing this heinous crime, even if it was photographed by four cameras or four video cameras witnessed by 50 men, again, this does not mean that the crime of fornication or adultery has been proven. Why? Because in Islam, Prescribed punishments are to be avoided to the best of our, our ability, especially when there is doubt or dubious matters related to it. And this is a Islamic, an Islamic ruling. Tudra'ul hududu bishubuhat. Prescribed punishments are prevented and blocked whenever there is a doubt. So this is why the Prophet والسلام, when Ma'az ibn Malik came and confessed of committing adultery, the Prophet looked the other way. And Ma'az came again and confessed, the Prophet looked the other way. Four times. And then the Prophet did not order him to be stoned to death. Rather he said to his tribesmen, Maybe he's crazy. They said, no, he's sane. Maybe he's intoxicated. They smelled his mouth. They said, no, he's sober. So the prophet again questioned him. Maybe you touched her. Maybe you hugged her. Maybe you did this. Maybe you did that. Tried his level best to block the punishment. Because Islam is not bloodthirsty. Islam, Islam is not eager to implement such punishment and to make a scene out of it. Unlike what haters may say, Islam is a religion of peace, of love, of compassion. As long as there is a possibility of blocking such prescribed punishment for the sake of the person and for the community. Because if I were the one to fall into that sin, I would have loved that people would not punish me for it. Therefore, when we fail to provide these two means of proving such a heinous sin, which is four male Muslim witnesses or a confession, in this case, nothing else works. Nevertheless, the Muslim judge considered this footage, whether video or uh, photographs, to be circumstantial evidences for a man being alone with a woman and he may inflict, according to his judgment, a punishment suitable to such a sin of being alone, not of such a sin of fornication or adultery. So he may sentence him to a, a period of time in prison. He may fine him. He may flog him 
not more than 10 flogs or according to his judgment, but not equivalent to the prescribed punishment, which is 100 uh, uh, lashes for someone who was not previously married or stoning for someone who was previously married and Allah Azza wa knows best.